Sam. <laughs> you are right. Good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. I think I had some issues with the connection then. <laughs> yeah, it was I was kept going on it and it just was black, so apologies. Yeah. It took a little but we're here. Yeah. Um so I I'll just let you know how we're going to do this. I normally um ask you about five six questions and then okay. if anyone or any of the viewers want to ask any questions then we can go out to questions from the viewers. Awesome. Um so my first question is actually how would you explain six to someone who hasn't seen the show before? Oh good one. Okay, so I would explain it as it is the six wives of Henry the 8th. Um in modern day as if they've come back from the dead but are retelling their stories in um contemporary music to the audience so each I, I when i describe it i say you know each queen gets to tell her story as she sees it um jade marvin you can see and um they speak to the audience and it is set out as a concert with contemporary music Yeah it's a show I've never yeah. uh, never been able to see because I was me meant to see the UK tour which I've got yeah. cancelled and then yeah. th then there was the drive the drive through tour which got cancelled too so hopefully when it gets when it gets rescheduled I'll be able to see it. Yeah do you know the music have you been listening to the album I've heard some of it yeah Yeah it's so great the music's just so accessible I think to most especially like the young generation today And um the second question is actually um have you did you have any embarrassing moments while on stage? Yes, yeah, so I had the most embarrassing moment. So on our very first show, um I in the beginning of get down, we all do this really cool clicking section to the audience and then we all like really sassy walk to the back of the stage and walk up the rostra at the back. Um and Scarlet leads the way our cleaves and us queens follow and i for some reason just missed the step and crashed it down and then grabbed onto the leading lady cleaves of that number and attempted to pull her down with me oh thankfully she turned around and just was like are you okay and i was like i'm so sorry i'm so sorry and then i had to turn around and it, you know it's the really cool suave number and there i am falling to the floor and then you know i'm i'm in absolute shambles for the rest of the number so that was pretty bad and there's no hiding in six you know there's literally yeah. the six of us on stage you know everybody saw it it was um it was quite something and um uh, what's your favorite theater to perform in as well Do you know what my favorite theater to perform in was probably um newcastle um theater royal is a gorgeous theater it's really it's like a really old fashioned from the outside and it's quite a big grand one and um I was really lucky I got to perform Ado Annie in Oklahoma in that theater so I've got really fond memories of it and all my family were there so yeah that was Newcastle definitely and it's just such a gorgeous town um city I mean the the town center is lovely like really old and cobbled streets That's I live up near Leeds so all my local theaters is like the Leeds Grand the Sheffield Lyceum the York Opera House that sort of thing Oh I've actually not been to the Leeds Grand Is it a nice theater? Yeah, really nice there. Good. Yeah, I've not been there. Hopefully. And um my next question is actually what would be your dream role? <sighs> okay, so my dream role has always been Elphaba in Wicked. It was sort of the Wicked was sort of the show that got me into musical theater. Um I was never I was sung pop music as a as a kid. Um and so Wicked was the one that that was like oh, oh wow this music's you know not just old school musical theater it's so great so definitely alphabet is probably my main but i now have jenner and waitress oh, i yeah. jenner and waitress so, so that that's oh, another yeah. one that we're going on a uk so but now <laughs> no oh i really i cuz i also didn't see it in the west yeah. end so i would i really hope it goes on a tour so that i can see it or be in it <laughs> <laughs> it'd be good to see you in it so such a great role such great music and um another question that I had was how does it differ being on like the show on a cruise ship to actually being on the UK tour so we actually have a much easier life on the cruise ship um cruise ships vary um so my last cruise ship i did cats and other shows alongside it that's how royal work they have one cast 
and they do multiple shows. Um, but with Norwegian, we had six, um, a Jersey Boys cast, and we also had another production cast, which would do like a cabaret. And so we only did six, the show, and we only did it four times a week on two days. So we actually... Well, well, we were set to have five days off a week. So when we go back, I'm presuming it will be the same. So actually, we only do the show four times a week. So it's a lot easier than the tour cast or the West End cast. Yeah. Seems to have a lot uh, of time off. A lot of time. So it's, it's actually, I think people think that um, cruise ships are really hard work. And yes, they can be. Um, certain ships do get you doing a lot of other work as well. But Norwegian are really good. You just do the show that you're employed for and we didn't have any um emergency roles so we didn't have to do any muster uh, muster stations is like um the drills when you join the ship so we didn't have to do any of that or anything so it was it was pretty a pretty cushy cushy job doing six and then traveling the world five days a week you know having days off is glorious <laughs> and uh, what was your most memorable moment on stage on any show as well um Oh, a good one. To, I'm going to be honest, my most memorable moment. There was this brilliant moment in Oklahoma that we did. Um, do you know Oklahoma? I haven't seen it. Cool. Oh, okay, so there's this huge defining moment at the end of the show where Judd Fry, who is the villain, I say villain because he, there's, there's a lot more um, to say on that, but the villain dies at the end. And um, we had a member of the audience shout out when he died i think it was a child so he, he, he this huge six foot seven it was nick nick greenshields actually who's played phantom and uh, frankenstein and young frankenstein he slams to the floor and he dies and then an audience member just shouted out he's dead <laughs> and the whole audience and us on stage just uproared with laughter like it was meant to be a really serious moment and the whole i mean none of us could keep it together you know, Nick on the floor was like shaking from laughter. Mm -hmm. Everyone was laughing. And I just thought, oh my goodness, this is outrageous. But it, that's actually a really funny moment that I'll always think of fondly. It was just sort of a moment where we all just sort of went, oh, it's okay. We can we're all corpsing. We're all laughing. But I mean, one moment. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Don, my dance captain from Cats is commenting. Aww. So if anyone has any, in, anyone who's watching now has any questions, now's the time to ask, really. <laughs> yeah, that's my gorgeous dance captain, Domenico. Mm. Pats. Gianni Annie Dots. <laughs> Do you have any more questions for me, um, Sam? Are there any more down there? That's it for about now, but another one is what's your favourite um, show to watch when you're not actually working it? Do you have a favourite musical or...? Yeah, Hamilton. I mean, I'd, I was really lucky and I did get to go and see the West End cast. Um, and, oh, Jade's got a question for me. Yeah, so um, I went, thankfully managed to see the West End cast. And the minute it went on Disney+, Plus, I yeah. subscribed to Disney+, Plus and I've probably seen it about five times. Since it's been on there, I'm obsessed with um, Hamilton. Um, talk about being challenges and excitements of being a show captain. Ooh, Jade, a great one. So yeah, I am the show captain for six, uh, which I'm not sure if you know Sam much about a dance captain for a show. So I'm essentially the dance captain. Um, but for Norwegian, they, talk, they call it a show captain. I think because you are uh, uh, to look after the whole show um it's not just to focus on dance and this was actually a huge shock when i got offered the role i really didn't think i would um get it i, I wouldn't say that i'm the strongest dancer in the um group but it was lovely to be offered it and i think that really a show captain needs to be able to lead and encourage and also be very up to date with the show and everything that's happening so you know i've got to watch the show note it really um specifically and be able to know exactly you know where a hand is at this point which way you're facing where your focus is at any given point um and lead rehearsals and also lead the swing rehearsals yeah so it's a lot of work but it's a, a absolute honor and the girls i can't i mean there's Thankfully, we all get on incredibly well, which I'm sure you've heard from everybody. Yeah. It, it is really good. I think they're very good with casting nice people for six. Um, 
and also everyone's just so forthcoming and easy to work with and we only actually had I actually only got to lead one rehearsal on the ship before we were taken off and it was I mean it was a dream everyone was lovely and really supportive and allowed me to lead which was nice is that the first time you've been like the show captain then it is yeah yeah um I was always told at uh, um, drama school that I would be a good captain um, by my dance teacher. And I sort of was like, really? And he was like, yeah, because you're very good. I'm good with details. Um, as much as I'm not, you know, an incredible dancer, you know, I can't kick my legs in my face. But I was always very good with noticing all the little details um, and retaining information. So um, I'm excited to do the role. It feels very honourable when you've got people like Colette, you know, being dance captain in the West End, who is out of this world talent. My favourite thing about Six in general? I think my favourite thing is the music. I think it's just so accessible to everybody. You don't have to be a musical theatre fan to love that music. It's just so current. And each song sounds, has a different sound, has a different, um, you know, timbre to it. Yeah, great question, Georgia. From what I've seen of clips online and the actual music, it's got more of a, it's got a very like concert vibe compared to just a regular musical. Yeah, yeah. definitely. It is. It's very odd, and that's it's it's the only musical that I know where there really isn't any fourth wall for the whole thing. We you know we do perform it as a concert, um, and there, yeah, there's no fourth wall at any given point, which I think is great. It makes yeah. the audience feel like they're part of something. Like they're in it with them. If anyone else has, anyone? has a question on here now, <laughs> I've, I've run out of questions. Did you have any tickets to any more shows, um, Sam, that got cancelled or was it just six? Um, I was supposed to be seeing Greece in, in, on tour in Nottingham as well. Okay, yeah. But... Um, the last show I saw, oh, well, sorry, I saw Back to the Future, the musical in Manchester. Was it good? Really? Yeah. Oh, the boy who plays the lead, Ollie, was um, the year below me at drama school. Oh, he, I met him, he was really nice. It's really great, yeah. And Roger Bart, really pleasure to meet Roger Bart, he's like a legend as well, so. Oh, yeah, that's just had the news that it's transferring, hasn't yeah. it, as well, to the West End. That's good. I'm glad um, I've got a few friends in it so that's really good but i think um normally i wait and especially with all this going on i, I didn't book i made sure not to book many tickets as long unless they were about to sell out <laughs> yeah <laughs> but exactly. i didn't um, some it's hard to get refunds on some shows as well at the moment yeah that's just such a mess i think we can go back soon but i think um pantos is a big thing for theaters as well and if they don't go ahead that's the problem, I think. If if Pantos can't go ahead in some capacity, a lot of some regional theatres, I'm not sure if we'll make it. Um, they'll probably have to close for a bit longer until they can get the funding to start back up again, because that's where most of them make their money, isn't it? Pantomimes. I know one of my local yeah. theatres, the um, Sheffield theatres. Um, yeah. They're just putting a scaled down panto with a, only about yeah. five, six cast in a smaller theatre, but they still they need to do something to get their money in, really. Exactly. Oh, yeah, because Sheffield is a hard one, but both of them next door to each other, they're lovely theatres. Yeah. That's a good yeah. What a shame. What a nightmare. I'm sure, hopefully, in a year's time, we'll all laugh and we'll go, <laughs> oh, remember that time. I saw a post today about how um, Bill Gates is hoping to get a vaccine ready for next June. I'm like, no, next June, we need it before then. <sighs> yeah, it's because uh, when it felt all started, I thought we'd be back open by now. <laughs> I, I, so I sort of, you know, a lot of us left some stuff on the ships because we thought, oh, you know, we'll leave that. We'll be back soon. You know, I left all my bags packed when I got home. Um, and then I was like, oh, I need to unpack my summer stuff because I'm going to be here for a while. Yeah, I've been talking to a few people who've left all sorts of stuff either in dressing rooms or in on tour buses, and it's just yeah, exactly. It's a big shock. What are we doing? Any more questions for me, anybody? I think 
I might be it. Yeah, I think that's about it. Thanks. It's been great talking well, to you anyway. So much. You too. Enjoy the rest of your day and interviews. Thanks. I've got one more Thanks for coming up later today. Oh, you've got Josh Lovell today yeah. and Emily Langham. They're both art setters like me. Josh was the year above me and Emily was the year below. Thank you, the Bondi girl. Um, yeah. Thanks so much, Sam. Thanks a lot. See ya. Bye. Let's go. Bye.